Thank you, Kathy, and hello, everyone. I'm joining you today from my home in San Francisco, and like many of you, I've converted my living space into a working space. And as you can see from my beard, I haven't really been out of my house in about seven weeks now, and it seems like it's going to be another couple of weeks before I can actually do anything outside. Uh, as Kathy mentioned, hosting Open Talk as a virtual event wasn't our plan just a few months ago. Uh, we had plans for a huge event at Pier 35 in San Francisco, hosting more than 3,000 people. We were so excited to meet many of you in person and see old colleagues. However, if the last three months have taught us anything, is that we must learn to adapt to any situation. And 2020 began in many ways much like the others before it. Uh, billions of people gather in Times Square and other cities all over the world to ring in a new year. We all started the year excited with a somewhat predictable business plan. But the COVID-19 pandemic not only changed that, but it made us more aware of how important customer service is and how much responsibility agents carry in time of crisis. Unprecedented is the word. There wasn't an existing playbook for this to help transition entire contact centers to work remotely. It's never been done at this scale. We are in the midst of writing a new one, a new playbook that will guide future CX leaders. When this is over, and it will be hopefully soon, the art of the new CX playbook will read, with challenge comes opportunity and hope. Never in a million years did I think I will be here before you today able to share so many stories of hope and opportunity from thousands of agents and companies that TalkDesk has helped through this pandemic. We received hundreds and hundreds of emails and letters like this every single day. And it's very humbling when we receive ones like this one. Our whole sales team depends on TalkDesk. We could not function as a company without you. In 2011, when I founded TalkDesk, I wanted to completely challenge and transform the contact center industry. I wanted to remove the limitations of old on-premise systems. I spent 10 days building what it is now, TalkDesk, the enterprise cloud contact center for the customer obsessed. At the beginning of the pandemic, approximately 5% of the US workforce was employed by contact centers. Think about it, 5% of the US workforce globally an estimated 25 million people were employed as contact center agents. And the recent study found that in January 2020, 43% of agents were working remotely. That number has moved from 43% in January to 95% at the end of March, and is expected to stay at around 60% in the second half of 2020. This means companies need to be prepared to continue supporting hundreds of thousands of agents to work remotely from their homes with the same level of security and customer service. But supporting this means having the right support and strategies in place to enable this new contact center model, to enable this new world. At the beginning of the pandemic, about 85% of contact centers were still tied to those aging on-premise systems. For most of those contact centers, their business continuity plan was to use a VPN network to support remote work for 10 to 20% of their employees. And as tempting as it may be to want to try and support an entire contact center working remotely via VPN, there are limitations and risks in doing that. Few of them like capacity. VPNs were not designed to support 100% of the agents working remotely full time. This affects reliability and voice quality. VPNs are known for instability and poor call quality. You want to provide the best service to your customers and that means the best call quality. Speed to deploy and ramp. With a VPN built out for remote agents, companies need more hardware and more internet capacity. This will require weeks if not months to deploy with unknown results. No one has done this at this scale. Management. How do you remotely manage your workforce. Contact center managers will no longer be able to monitor calls, to be close to their agents and monitor productivity. And last but not least, IT overhead. The burden of more hardware to deploy to support a full agent remote workforce. 
it's obvious there continues to be a huge need to help companies get back to some sense of normal in servicing their customers. Just, just look at the news. Companies are still dealing with two or three hour call all times. We've all experienced this in the last few months. But one of the challenges in resolving these issues is the double impact on the CX industry. Many organizations are experiencing drastic losses in revenue and workforce reductions, while others find themselves short-handed, needing to hire thousands of agents. And that's why it's so important to me to launch TalkDesk CX Talent, a free job platform that connects unemployed people seeking work-from-home jobs with companies hiring contact center workers. As part of this program, we've also launched TalkDesk Academy. And TalkDesk Academy offers job seekers free training and certifications to develop essential contact center skills. Individuals can become certified as a TalkDesk agent in two hours. We have more than 60,000 agents certified on TalkDesk Academy as of now, and more than 9,000 people looking for jobs on CX talent. TalkDesk customers and BPO partners can find and hire qualified candidates with ease to fill open roles. The feedback has been amazing. It's been so positive. Take, for example, Farfetch and Glint. Through this program, we are giving them the opportunity to add certified agents. We have been grouped in terms of performance anywhere in the world in many different languages. Like every single product at TalkDesk, TalkDesk CX Talent uses TalkDesk IQ to pair job seekers with open roles based on experience, skills, and certifications. Customer service providers can easily add and scale contact center operations with available certified professionals ranging from agents to advanced administration level. This is a real game changer for the industry. TalkDesk is the only contact center providing offering a program like this and I'm so so excited by this new offering. Every interaction with the customer has an impact on what that customer thinks and feels about the business. Every moment is an experience that matters. The contact center is the epicenter of the customer's experience from awareness to purchase to service and to expansion. It's at every single point. This is why TalkDesk was the first cloud contact center provider to offer business continuity support for customers. Weeks ahead of anyone else in the industry, with free offers and support to make a fast transition to the cloud and to support industries hit the hardest with special programs. We want to help. As a phase one, we've launched in early March. The response has been overwhelmingly positive. Because of that, we've extended these offers to July 1st. And not only that, but we've also added three new partner offers to complement these ones. Phase two was launched in late March. The focus of this phase was on helping customers who are struggling with on-premise workarounds like VPN, and we've talked with many, many of them, as well as a new offer for state and local government. Like I said, we want to help. And the response has been incredible. Gratitude from customers has been overwhelming. There's some of the quotes we received. We've received hundreds and hundreds of different quotes from customers, and we love that we are able to help. We have helped so many customers during this pandemic and it feels so good to make a difference in their lives. Uh, recently, we've announced a Fortune 100 global media leader who moved more than 10,000 customer service agents to TalkDesk in what is now the largest single instance cloud deployment ever. They are in 20 different countries speaking 15 different languages and they moved right before the COVID situation hit. Just before that, we announced Fortune 100 healthcare company that moved nearly 2,000 agents to work from home on TalkDesk within hours. And we completed the full contact center implementation in just a couple of days. Think about it, thousands of agents, a Fortune 100 healthcare company in only a few days. I'll share some of the many, the many more stories we hear from customers. Take for example, Dr. Lieb and Sitgeek. Uh, Doctolib is a French-based company with offices in several, country, in several countries that allows patients to book online appointments with doctors. They do hundreds of thousands of appointments every single day. You can imagine it's in very high demand right now. TalkDesk was able to help Doctolib shift 
all of its employees to work from the office to work to, to work from home. It had to be fast because their customer service agents are helping doctors support the patients. There's more. John Paul, Zoomies, Advisors Excel. These are all other examples of companies we helped move to the cloud and work from home. John Paul is the number one concierge service in the world. We help them transition their agents to working from home in one click with no interruption of service and no difference for their users. But the most gratifying part about what TalkDesk is doing to support customers is stories of hope we hear. And I want to share with you a couple of them. Earlier today, I spoke with Greg from YMCA and Matt from Illuminate Education about their company's business continuity plans and what the new normal means for them. Uh, let's please listen. My name is Greg Vandenham. I'm Senior Director of IT Operations at YMCA of the USA. YMCA of the USA is a national resource office to Ys all across the United States. Uh, the Y was founded in 1844. Um, in the US, we provide tools and guidance to 2,700 Ys around the country. Uh, those Ys have approximately 20,000 staff, 600,000 volunteers. We're in you know, over 10,000 communities across the country. Um, one of the great statistics about us is the Y engages over 9 million youth and 13 million adults per year. And we're not just a gym and swim, we're uh, really a community service organization. Had this pandemic happened last year, we simply couldn't have pivoted to our contact center uh, online. Um, our previous IP solution, uh, while it was uh, IP based, would not have given us the flexibility to go virtually. Um, our staff wasn't properly trained to support the old solution that we had. Uh, we had a lot of turnover throughout the years for our staff. And we would have had to make tough decisions to uh, put people in office as essential workers and expose them to, to risk. And in Chicago, that's something that we definitely did not want to do. Uh, clearly, you know, none of this uh, was ideal. And uh, we were very fortunate that we had moved forward last year with TalkDesk. For us personally, it's been great. Um, having practiced uh, work from home, you know, typically what we what we practice is a negative 30, snowy, cold, frigid day uh, in January for Chicago, right? So when we practiced this last year, um, after we deployed TalkDesk, we felt really good about it. And we said, you know, we, we can do this for a couple of days. It, it's fine, you know, our, our team members are good. Um, our contact staff during this uh, pandemic, they picked up their laptops, they took their headsets, and uh, they went home and logged on. Um, we've been quickly able to uh, adapt our call trees and make changes with uh, the web-based flow editor and upload new recordings as we've needed to. Uh, we've made changes um, there that have really helped out. And uh, many of the changes that the team has made, they've done it without the IT team, which is, has been super great because um, the IT team has as well been impacted by furloughs on staff. So our resources have been tight, but the contact center team leads have been able to make the changes. And really, I, I think the story there is for us to say, you know, TalkDesk has empowered us uh, to allow our team to make changes without the need for IT. And really IT has been um, available uh, for expertise uh, if needed in the solution. And that's been super helpful in this time. YMCAs, um, it's been really cool to see how the Ys have pivoted. So we're almost at 1100 Ys that are providing essential childcare services for first line workers and other um, you know, first responders, essential workers, that kind of thing. Um, over a thousand Ys are also providing food for families and children, um, which is uh, another thing that's been really interesting to see. Uh, we have internal uh, sites where uh, the Ys are sharing photos back with YUSA of, of their progress and their success stories and 
um, it, it, it's been uh, really rewarding to, to, to see what we're doing on that front and to be part of the why at this time. You know, there's other things that we're doing as well, um, virtual services to provide uh, teens support with social isolation. Uh, we've been helping the Red Cross with food drives. And, um, you know, during this pandemic, the, the Ys are, are truly working hard to provide for their communities. Um, I will say the Ys need help. Um, we're going to need significant federal support on many levels to, to make what we're doing a success. And it's not just YMCA in general, it's all not-for-profits that are currently struggling to provide for their uh, communities and act as a foundation for their communities to, to function going forward. Hi, I'm Matt Dale. I'm Vice President of Customer Support at Illuminate Education. Illuminate Education is comprised of about 550 employees. We serve over 5,200 schools and districts in the U.S. Uh, K-12 market space. We're a software as a service company um, and competing in the educational technology market. Uh, our comprehensive solution uh, includes screening and progress monitoring for academics and behavior, assessment creation and administration, multi-tiered system of supports management, and dashboard solutions so that we can support educators in turning whole child data into actionable insights. So as an organization, we've had to wrestle with the, some of the same questions that everyone else is asking. What does this mean for our cash flow? What measures do we need to take now to ensure that we're a viable business in the future? What do these changing times mean to our customers? And how can we adapt to better meet their needs? And finally, like, our met metrics and key indicators are way off. So what do we need to do to help plan for the future? At Illuminate, our work focuses on helping educators support the whole child, pulling academic, social, emotional, and behavioral data together to provide insights to educators and ultimately accelerate student learning. This work has never been more crucial due to the school closings and the rapid move to remote learning. So we've been curating resources uh, to support our customers. And that includes things like a remote learning resources website. Um, we've been hosting free webinars that highlight what product features they have that are available and really well suited to remote learning. And offering free resources like scaffolded and printable English language arts and math performance tasks. And finally, creating product toolkits to prevent learning loss. So having a cloud-based contact center made it easy for our team to transition to, fully, to working fully remote during these uncertain times. Uh, when my boss came to me uh, to let us know that we're, we were going to be closing our offices, he said, hey, what's this going to do for our ability to support our customers and to do our jobs as support professionals? Um, we have, prior to this, have been working to make sure that everyone works at least one day a week remote. Um, and so moving to full-time remote wasn't that big of a deal. Um, the technology was there and it was just a really easy transition. I don't think our customers noticed the difference at all, which is exactly how we'd want it to be. TalkDesk has supported us by giving us the tools we need to be prepared for anything. The switch to fully remote was really easy because our team was already used to it. Uh, most of our support volume has been down because schools aren't functioning right now. Um, but one of our products in the New York City area was seeing three to 400% of their normal calls during the first few weeks of the shutdown. Now support leadership, we saw this as it happened recognized the areas that we needed to build some documentation and, and worked on building that out, uh, focusing on supporting teachers, parents, and students as they were using our system in new ways. We quickly updated the IVR to break out calls, requesting support for that product in that particular area out of the normal ring group so we could get them um, on their own area. Now, since we had everything set up and talked at the studio, uh, the changes to flow were really quick and easy. We created a message letting our customers know about the web resources that were available if they didn't want to stay on the phone. Um, and we were able to move several different agents from other ring groups into that ring group to help support our customers. Now, in previous systems that I've used, this would have involved a call or a ticket to our IT team, um, waiting several hours or days for them to make the changes, um, during which time my team, and more importantly, our customers, uh, would have suffered. So thanks to TalkDesk, one of our directors was able to jump in there, make the changes we needed, and we were up and running in no time. Uh, because everything works so well with our TalkDesk system, I haven't had to reach out to our CSM or to the support team. Um, but I have actually had several proactive reach outs from our CSM saying, hey, we're here if you need anything. Um, I know things are different in the, in the pandemic. Um, let us know how we can help. And, and just knowing that TalkDesk is there to help support if we need it is really, really helpful. So we've been amazed at the work that educators are doing right now to support students in their district. One of the key themes that we're seeing is that teachers are finding ways to connect with and engage their students. Uh, learning is happening. It just doesn't look quite the same as it did a few months ago. One example is from a school in New York City uh, where they started a school-wide mentoring initiative. 
that matches every student with a staff member. And that staff member then contacts the student a few times a week just to make sure that they're there uh, to provide some support with learning, but also just say, hey, how are you doing? How are things going with you and with your family? That staff member then is able to log their interactions in our system so that the teachers can see what's going on with their students and, and adjust um, their instruction accordingly. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for sharing those stories of great hope. Um, and right now, charitable organizations like the YMCA are providing much needed support and services to those who need the most in our communities. And if you would like to make a voluntary donation in support of the YMCA, you can find a link right here in the Open Talk 2020 virtual platform. We want to help and we invite you to join us and help them as well. Every single time I meet a customer and I listen to their ambitions, to their successes and to their challenges, I walk away having learned something new. Actually, most of the times I walk to CK and I ask her to build a new product to solve those challenges. She loves me when I do that. Uh, but in all seriousness, what I take away in every instance is how important it is for the customer to trust TalkDesk and for us to trust them. At heart, I'm an engineer. Early in my career, I used to think that having the best product was going to win every single time. It didn't take me long to realize that it's about having an incredible product coupled with mutual trust. I have certainly learned these past few months that trust is more important than ever when customers are facing challenges. We actually support more than 1,800 customers in 75 different countries across every single vertical from financial healthcare, retail, technology, hospitality. They trust TalkDesk to not only enable a great customer experience, but also to ensure it gets better and better over time. And trust is the cornerstone of leadership. In 2019, Gartner recognized TalkDesk as a leader in the Gartner's 2019 Contact Center as a Service Magic Quadrant. TalkDesk is only one of three vendors in both the North America and Western Europe contact center as a service MQs. We are the youngest vendor to be in the leader squadron and the fastest company ever to make it into the leader squadron. It is a tremendous and humbling honor to be recognized this way and it comes with extreme responsibility and we want to ensure we deliver on. Right after the MQ was published, Gartner released another report looking at all vendors across the consolidated customer service marketplace. This includes CRM vendors, contact center vendors, UC providers, pretty much everyone that touches the customer. And in this report, Gartner says companies should, and I quote, companies should source solutions from vendors who can demonstrate a three-year roadmap that best addresses your customer service ambitions across all four pillars of great customer service. And we're so proud that TalkDesk came on top of this list, this list of impressive companies, companies many times of our size. We are also very proud of our customers' love. Uh, we've got the most reviews and the highest scores on all the major reviews websites. Gartner, G2 Crowd, Salesforce Epic Change, and many more. TalkDesk is the number one rated customer service platform. And a lot of this is because we are very serious about innovation, serious about disruptive innovation that enables great customer service, even in difficult times like the ones we live now. Just look at these numbers. We were the first and only contact center to provide an offer of 100% uptime SLA, a reliability bar so high that no other vendor has been able to reach. We also recently announced the completion of more than 200 US patent applications in just 100 days. Two patent applications a day. We are moving companies' to contact centers to the cloud faster than anyone else in as little as 24 hours. And we are doing this for Fortune 100 companies. Innovation is in our DNA since day one. So much that people didn't believe People didn't believe us when we said we would announce 20 new products in 2020. And just a few short months later, here we are, delivering exactly what we said we would. We've already introduced 14 new products. And we are introducing two more today during CK's presentation. And we are introducing the final four on May 21st. 
And this is what it looks like to move fast, to be innovative, to be customer obsessed, ensuring that we are providing our customers with the most innovative technology. And our focus is very, very clear. We will change the customer service market in 2020, period. How? By announcing today what is the, the industry's most complete customer experience suite. One global cloud native platform, one user experience, one services experience. We call it the TalkDesk CX Cloud. We are taking a new approach to an old problem, empowering TalkDesk customers to easily adapt contact center operations to the evolving needs of their customers and teams in a way never before possible. And the result? Increased productivity, increased customer satisfaction, and cost savings. This is not only a huge milestone for TalkDesk, but it is also a huge one for the CX market. We are removing boundaries that constrain so many companies and putting directly into our customers' hands the power to transform every interaction into a true, meaningful customer experience. TalkDesk is the only vendor in the market that can deliver a CX solution like this. And you are going to learn more about CX Cloud from CK. History's greatest CX leaders have taught us that hope opens doors to new opportunity to overcome life's greatest challenges. And it is often in the hardest times that trust is built. We are a company of innovation and execution, and like any other in the industry, we'll continue to innovate so our customers can stay ahead and deliver exceptional client service in any situation. I promise you, we won't stop ever. To all of our customers, thank you for believing in us and trusting the most critical part of your business to us, your customer experience. We will not let you down. I'll end my presentation with this quote from Forest Analyst Ian Jacobs, and I totally agree with him. He says, don't be satisfied with what you had before the pandemic in your old contact centers. You have a blank slate to start building your ideal remote contact center. Take advantage of this opportunity. Now is the time to make the move to the cloud and TalkDesk is here to help you do it. Please join me in welcoming the woman leading the TalkDesk CX innovation revolution, my friend and colleague CK, TalkDesk's chief product officer. But first, let's roll out that video about CX Cloud.